So there's another array method which is extremely useful at times, and that is the map method. Now in the way that the syntax is written, it's very similar to the for each. If you look at this part of my code right here, um, if you've watched the for each video, you can see this is almost identical. The only difference is the name of the method. Here it's map, in the other video it was for each. Now map will do the same thing as the for each. It will call this function once for every element inside the array. The difference between for each and map is that the for each method doesn't return anything to us. It just goes through and lets us do something to each element in the array, but it is affecting the original array. The map method will give us back a new array. So it lets us go through the array, looking at each one of the items. We'll have access to the item, the index, and the entire array. We can do things with each element in the array, but inside this function we need to have a return statement and whatever we return that becomes the contents of the new array so this function is going to run 12 times it's going to call return 12 times this array will have 12 elements in it so if I said return 12 and then we console log out the contents of name lengths which is our new variable there we go. There's our new array. It has 12 12s in it. So we can see that it ran 12 times and that every single time it put the number 12 in as the next element. If I was to replace this with index and we run this, there we are. There's the indexes from the old array. If I was to put item here and run it again, there we are. We have the items. So this allows us to do something with each one. We're not just going to copy the array because then we can just assign one variable to another. So let's go through and determine the length of each one of these names. And that's going to be what we store in the new array. So we'll say len equals item dot length. So this is the string property length and it will tell us how long in characters this string is. We're going to save that into this local variable and then return that. There we are. There's our new array now. The array name lengths now contains the length of each of these strings. So Biffer is 5, Boffer is 5, Bomber is 6, Feely is 4, Keely is 4, Oin is 3, Gloin is 5, and so on. Now the one thing that we could do inside of here to make this a little bit more efficient is if you wanted you can just put this item.length in as the return we could save ourselves declaring this variable internally this would be a little bit more efficient you can see that we get the exact same result but very often you're going to have multiple lines of code inside here so you're going to be returning something else anyway Anyway, that's it. That's the map method. You can see it's very similar to the for each. The main difference being that it gives us back a new array with built out of all the return values.